Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable, all of the judges and the Excellency, all of the audience I am participant number 69 First, let us praise and thank God for His blessings, mercy, and guidance so that we can all gather in this place I also express my gratitude for the opportunity given to me to deliver a speech regarding the effect of multiculturalism society. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished judges and audience, do you know what is multiculturalism means? Anyone else? Okay, let me make this straight. According to Conrad William Watson in his book entitled Multiculturalism in 1998, a multicultural society is a society of a country, region, even geographical locations such as cities and schools consisting of individuals who have different cultures in equal terms. So that the concept of multicultural itself is a worldview which is then implemented in policies regarding the willingness to accept other group equally as a unit regardless of differences such as differences in culture, ethnicity, gender, language, and religion. Ladies and gentlemen, why does multiculturalism is matter to us? Is it even important? Yes, it does matter and it is important. Multiculturalism is important because it encourages dialogue often between different cultures that have radically different perspectives. It is also a bridge between the divide of tolerance and acceptance. Ladies and gentlemen, Multicultural life in this country is like two sides of a knife. They can give birth integration or even national disintegration. The integration of the nation in this multicultural country is manifest from the unity and the integrity of the nation, where one culture and another become like a puzzle piece of a complementary diversity. Meanwhile, the disintegration of the nation is born from the unpreparedness of a society to accept differences from other societies. So, where are we going to take this nation? Going to the right? Or is it take the other way around? Ladies and gentlemen, occupying a country that has high multiculturalism is of course has some social effect, right? The social effect is also divided into two, namely negative social effect and vice versa, positive social effect. The negative social effect that we can get from multiculturalism including First, vulnerable to conflict Differences in cultural values and basic norms will be difficult to adjust between each religion It will be always conflict and it will facilitate the emergence of a conflict For example, the social conflict in Ambon because of excessive social inequality between Muslim and Protestant Christian in 1998 Second, the emergence of an attitude of ethnocentrism, namely an attitude or view that stems from communities and its own culture. Usually accompanied by attitude and view that belittle other communities and cultures. For example, the Sampi tragedy in 2001, because of economic jealousy between the Madures as immigrants and the Dayaks as natives. Third, the emergence of fanatism and extreme attitude. Fanatism is an attitude that shows excessive love for a group, field, and excessive interest in individuals. The example of fanatism is when approaching 2019 presidential and vice presidential election. There were two camps, namely supporters of Choco Macro and also supporters of Prabowo Sandiaga Uno. Both camps feel that their idol is the best and is more worthy to being elected in 2019 election. In fact, they have formed their own community called Team Sex, as known as Success Team. The positive social effect that we can get from multiculturalism including First, diversity provides space for people to be open in establishing social and cultural relationships. This diversity can increase the community sense of tolerance towards other communities so that inter-community harmony can be created. Second, provide bonds and relationship between people. So
socializing only with the same or similar people would be boring, right? From the existence of multiculturalism, we can socialize with the people who are different from us. Third, can respect each other between each culture. Without any limitation because of difference, we must make the difference as a strong glue. So we will not consider the difference as something to be avoided. Ladies and gentlemen, multiculturalism is good for our society because it helps break down many barriers between different ethnic groups. Think about it this way. For example, we are Japanese and we eat Balinese food and we enjoy it. We have been exposed to an element of another ethnic group. Meeting and appreciating people of other culture will enrich our lives. Ignorance of other people can and does create suspicion and fear. It can even lead blind hair. Ladies and gentlemen, as a young generation living in a country that is rich in differences, we should be wise in dealing with differences. We must understand that differences are not a reason for division. We can do small things to maintain the diversity of the nation, such as respecting each other and taking care of each other. We will now end our speech with a meaningful quote by Muhammad Ali. Hating people because of their color is wrong, and it doesn't matter which color does they hate it, it's just simply wrong. I have enough speeches to say, thank you for your attention, have a nice day, and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.